Okay, so we have this uh, mostly bent around. So what's going to happen is that because the metal starts to, to fold up here because it, because it can't, it takes very complex hammering to do something like this. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sharpen up this edge with the, uh, some type of chisel just to put a, a hard crease on this thing here. And a hard crease here, because as you can see, this crease is very sharp, and my break here is not so sharp. Uh, so what I do is uh, work on that to get the fold to work, and then I'm gonna once I get it done, I'm gonna cut a thin line here, very thin, and then so that I don't have to worry about too much complex curving all the way up here, because as you curve, well here I don't have to worry about too much of a complex fold and curve because. Once you curve this over, it wants to basically crinkle up because it's going in a circle. So I'm just gonna cut a very thin line here. I'm probably gonna use a, a hacksaw instead of a, any type of pneumatic tool or a, a cutoff wheel. And I'm gonna cut it thin. And then I'm gonna, once I get the lip out, I'm gonna cut a thin lip off of the deck lid and, and then start working it in from there. All right. Okay, so this is the lip that I'm working on. Um, I have the uh, half of it already worked out. And um, these little lumps, it's gonna be fine because what I'm gonna do is take a grinder because as you can see, this edge is a little bit sharper here. And my fold, because it's rounding, it's hard to get that sharp. Um, I'm pretty sure they had some things basically stamp and cut this whole deck lid into shape. So what I'm gonna do is basically, once I get this uh, cut out, I'm gonna basically grind this down with a grinder and the grinder should make a flat edge right here. And um, at that point, let me turn this thing over. Okay, I soft hammered this thing over um, so I can get a curve rate uh, going towards this direction. Um, and I also added some more welds and I grinded it down a little bit on the, uh, the patch that I did last week. Um, so what I'm going to do here is basically after I get this um, basically sized up correctly, after I get this sized up correctly, um, I'm going to basically cut a thin line right here, a very thin line. I'm probably going to use a hacksaw instead of a, uh, a pneumatic tool, cutoff wheel, and I'm going to cut a thin line. And then once I get this surely in place, well, I'm going to mark it and make sure I have it. When I put it next time, it's going to be exactly in the same place put a marker on the points that make sure that it's right here. I'm going to trace this piece, um, the cut piece on the deck lid and I'm also going to cut a very thin piece. What I decided to do is not, um, not try to patch it a really thick piece because basically the curve here um, and it's rounded because it was stamped instead of it was not created this way and welded over. Um, this curve is very complex because everything, when they've stamped this thing, everything bent at the same time. So, but when I hammer this over, this piece, this piece basically want to buckle out. So the smaller the lip, the less it wants to buckle. Um, so this is where I am with the deck lid. Um, this piece has a gap right here. And uh, I'm probably gonna test a few cellar filler welds, but um, I'm thinking about it because my lip is probably going to be about this height. On this piece, I'm going to make it a little higher in this section so it mates against my patch piece. So I'm filling it, and the contour of this thing is pretty nice. Um, once I get done, I'm going to put it under uh, the planishing hammer to kind of bang out this section right, right along the welds and then here to make sure it's smooth and then I'm going to take a grinder and I'm just going to grind everything down and uh, that should put us in the ballpark for this area um, but so far it's looking really good um, 
just taking my time. This is the educational process. I bought this deck lit for like 300 bucks. And uh, so if I scrap it and mess it up, it's not a big loss. I don't have an over window veto anyway. So, you know, stay tuned for the next section. I have the uh, patch cut out for the um, bottom smack, smack in right here. And this is a uh, pretty uh, one point. Um, what I'm gonna do is, uh, this is the piece that I'm gonna cut out. So what I'm gonna do is try to draw like guidelines. Um, I'm not gonna use the whole size of this metal. I just know that there's a pin rust hole here. There's a pen rust hole right around here. So I'm just gonna mark where they are. Just gonna mark where they are. And then I'm gonna cut out a square. And then I'm gonna make sure that it's smaller than this piece. And then I'm gonna start manipulating both sides of the metal to see to get it fit in there properly. I'm basically gonna cut the edges off. This is basically gonna be in this section right here. So I'm gonna cut the edges off so that you know. I can deal with the lip problem once I'm done. But I just plan this hammer this out, and then I'm going to go take a when I get it uh, situated inside and welded in. So I'm just going to take a grinder and I'm just going to grind it level. Okay. I have this section cut out, and I have the uh, replacement patch um, hammered it um, to the correct correct form. As you can see, there's no gap in between there. Pretty, pretty close and if there's anything it will bend when I'm actually when I get it fixed in place to weld into this spot so what I'm going to do is take a marker green marker that I use to outline the larger hole I'm going to um, trace out this piece and I'm going to grind um, the metal down to this exact shape so this is how I'm going to do it like that okay so I almost have this uh, bottom section fixed. I cut out the piece and I um, basically mounted it to this and I used this as a, um, a template. I drew a green line also so I could see it disappear. But once I mounted it, I had it clamped together and I used I uh, pressed it against the grinder and grinded it all the way down to the exact same size. Well, similar size as you can see is a gap right here, but I'm gonna put a copper fitting behind here and I'm going to start welding towards the copper so that I don't actually weld through it. But it's, this metal is going to be, um, it's really thin because it's rusted out. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm not really worried about this section down here because I'm, I'm, I'm I fabricated, well, I'm going to finish fabricating the, the lip that I have for this. So, um, let me see, hold on. This is the lip that I fabricated. Uh, what I'm going to do is basically cut a very thin line here and uh, right here, a thin line here, and then I'm going to cut a thin line. So it's going to probably be about to this section right here. Um, I might, in this section, um, once I get this piece welded in, I might put a patch that comes down to the new piece uh, because this metal pretty much have to come all out because it's rusted, but I'm just keeping it there um, because I need to use it as the guideline for the... Uh, for the uh, back side of this this thing, I basically, um, if you, as you know from earlier, um, I'm basically replacing this part, with the, with the flat part here, uh, with. Hold on for a sec. For this section, see how it managed up over there. I'm rebuilding that. Okay. 